Tracking down Pokemon can be tough. You're at the mercy of your location and sometimes your favorites just won't appear near you. But did you know that one of the best ways to potentially catch rare and hard to find Pokemon without traveling far is by hatching eggs? Of course, you need to actually get an egg first. You'll find them randomly at Pokestops and they come in three varieties. Two kilometers, five kilometers, and 10 kilometers or about one mile, three miles, and six miles respectively for us Americans. Those distances denote how far you have to walk for each of them to hatch, after putting them in an incubator. Now thankfully, you start the game with one incubator already, which has infinite uses, but the catch is that each incubator can only hold one egg, so you'll need to pick up normal incubators if you want to hatch more than one egg at a time. You can either buy them in the shop or earn them when leveling up. But normal incubators can only be used three times before breaking. Now there are a few rules when it comes to hatching eggs. For one, the Pokemon Go app has to be open to register the distance that you travel. Secondly, you can only hold a maximum of nine eggs at a time. If you're maxed out, Pokestops won't give more until you've made room. And finally, if you go too fast, the distance won't be counted towards your incubated eggs. But that doesn't mean you can't cheat a little. Now we've heard conflicting reports about the exact speed limit, but it seems that as long as you stay under roughly 25 kilometers per hour or 15 miles per hour, Pokemon Go will count the distance traveled and hatch your eggs even faster. So cars, trains, or planes are probably out, but running or biking should do the trick. Besides new Pokemon, hatching eggs provides other bonuses as well. Players earn 1,000 XP for simply hatching the egg and an additional 500 XP if it's a new Pokemon. You'll also receive Stardust and that Pokemon's candy. And the higher the CP of the hatching Pokemon, the more you'll get. But you might be wondering which Pokemon you can hatch from eggs. And as it turns out, almost all of them. The only exceptions are Ditto, Evolutions, and Kanto's legendary Pokemon. So no Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, Mewtwo, or Mew. So that's a lot of Pokemon, and as it turns out, they're divided amongst the three egg distance ranges, providing you with at least some idea of what might hatch from each egg. And thanks to Cerebee.net, we have the full list. So, two kilometer eggs can hatch one of 14 Pokemon, which includes Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Caterpie, Weedle, Pidgey, Rattata, Spearow, Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Zubat, Geodude, and Magikarp. Next, 5km eggs can hatch one of 43 Pokemon, including Ekans, Sandshrew, Nidoran Female, Nidoran Male, Vulpix, Oddish, Paris, Venonat, Diglett, Meowth, Psyduck, Mankey, Growlithe, Poliwag, Abra, Machop, Bellsprout, Tentacool, Ponyta, Slowpoke, Magnemite, Farfetch'd, Doduo, Seal, Grimer, Shelter, Ghastly, Drowsy, Krabby, Voltorb, Execute, Cubone, Lickitung, Coughing, Rhyhorn, Tangela, Kangaskhan, Horsey, Goldeen, Staryu, Mr. Mime, Tauros, and Porygon. And finally, 10 kilometer eggs can hatch one of 16 Pokemon that include Onyx, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, Chansey, Scyther, Jinx, Electabuzz, Magmar, Pinsir, Lapras, Eevee, Ammonite, Kabuto, Aerodactyl, Snorlax, and Dratini. We hope this excellent guide goes over easy and helps you quickly find new and different Pokemon to fill out your Pokedex. If you have any egg hatching tips of your own, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Pokemon and other things gaming.